this is that 1930s on the wood I've been working on for the past few days and in an earlier video I posted that I had a problem with transferring one uh, ro platen and support rollers to the other carriage I had an extra carriage that I got with this machine which you see over there um, the problem was when I got this machine the feed rollers and the platen were in very bad condition the feed rollers more than the platen no way that it would feed paper through uh, the, the um, support rollers they were absolutely frozen uh, and in very bad shape the platen was not too bad, it had a few cracks I will show you they are here this is the platen, you can see it has not good, very small cracks forming um, and it has a couple chips now if these the cracks weren't my issue, it was the chips as you can see there's one over there and there's another one over there and over there it wasn't the cracks that made me replace the platen because it still feels pretty good for an old roller like this but the, the, the chips cause um, when printing with the keys when typing it interferes with the proper printing so well the good thing I was I had that spare carriage but you can see that also these speed rollers I mean these absolutely disintegrated the bum touch at least one of them did now you can see that this isn't really what it should be you can see that they're in very bad shape um, one of them actually disintegrated when I tried to remove it as you can see that's all the pieces you see in there so I got the spare carriage parts and I plopped them in this machine now the problem was of course this is a carriage from this 1930s Underwood and the carriage that I got along with it was from a machine from around 1915 the difference between is that on those machines from 1915s they only have three support rollers on each uh, bar and the later models had four this machine had four four support rollers on each bar so which meant I was short on two rollers on uh, two support rollers and I still am you can see there is one missing over there the other there's one over there and there is one over there but the one that's missing is over you can see it's missing uh, there's there, I mean it completes that's the third one by the way um, and then there is one missing um, not that one but the one behind there you can see it's missing over there uh, the support rollers on this now and the platen they're not in greatest shape they have a few cracks you can see a few cracks if I turn it you see it even better you can see a couple in that one too and then on the ones on the rear if I can find what I'm filming here ah, there we go. you can see that I mean it, it doesn't look very healthy but they feel and work a lot better than what they look like once I get my camera focused, I'm sorry. You can see they still turn properly, although they have their cracks. You can see that's the one that's missing. So, despite that, despite all the cracks and age looking marks, uh, these rubbers still grab the paper very well. I will show you that. Whoops, that was a mistake. <laughs> You can see it's still very sturdy despite the fact that the machine is missing two support rollers. So I just wanted to demonstrate that, that I seem to have figured this problem out. Um, if I can get my hands on two extra support rollers, I'll probably install them. But for now it will work. Uh, I will make an extra video for this machine probably tomorrow or some time later. Uh, once it's finished I just have to install the front plate. Uh, which I was missing its decals but I'm having them redone a little bit uh, unprofessional but I will show you that then when it's, it's, once it's finished anyway thanks for watching uh, I hope this wasn't terribly boring but I just wanted to give an update bye bye